the phone with us right now, Chuck Haynes, Emergency Management Director with York County. Uh, Chuck, thanks so much for joining us over the phone. What are some of the issues that you are uh, responding to at this point in York? We have had uh, numerous trees down, power lines down, which is uh, normal for this type of weather. <laughs> what is unusual is we're seeing water in areas that we typically do not see water and that that's certainly where those rain bands set up and, and drop that that heavy rain. Uh, several rescues, uh, both um, out of homes and out of vehicles, um, have um, had to happen this morning, and we've had a lot of <clears throat> roadways and low-lying areas that we've had to, um, uh, to uh, shut off for uh, through traffic travel. Um, as as we're talking, we're seeing um, some images and some video, and this water is unbelievably powerful. What, what's your advice to people um, as this continues to be an issue there? Yeah, simply stay away from it. You don't know if uh, the, there, there's power in the water from an energized power line. You don't know what's under the water. Uh, if it's moving, it can certainly sweep you off your feet. Just simply stay away from it. If it's coming towards you, seek higher uh, ground. And the, even if that means leaving your home or leaving your car uh, to save yourself, uh, just get away from it. Thanks so much for, for all you do. Chuck Haynes with Emergency Management uh, from York County. So we're going to send things over to Larry. And Larry, th the images of this, uh, this weather event, it, they're incredible. They really are, and, uh, and every issue, issue from uh, the National Weather Service has indicated every single one of these events, every one of these warnings says life-threatening. So what he was saying is very true, and we always use that phrase, turn around, don't drown. Uh, seriously, this is the time. Do not approach that. Don't go through it. Don't walk through it. Don't try to drive your car through it. It could be life-threatening, life-endangering. As we take a live view of uh, Lake Norman, looking okay, a little bit of a breeze out there, but the rain has stopped at least there, but there's still a lot of rain. Draw that line, Interstate 77. Everything is east. Heavy, heavy rain tracking off the east of these places like Pageland, Norwood, Rockingham, all the way towards Lumberton, up Interstate 95. You got uh, heavy, heavy rainfall. You got travel plans up towards Greensboro, High Point, Winston-Salem, Raleigh. Very dangerous situation there with all the rainfall they've had in those areas. As we take a look, you see once again the amount of rainfall. That's that frontal boundary tracking off, moving from west east, Pageland getting some heavy rain. Mac B there in South Carolina, up around Stanley County and Albemarle. Salisbury getting some heavy rain over towards Asheboro. So very heavy rainfall. So the flooding conditions are widespread. Maybe you don't see rain back to west, but there's still warnings in effect with all the rain that they have had today. Some areas as much as six to seven inches of rainfall. And you can see as we take a look all across North Carolina, mainly North Carolina, every one of these areas in green, that is a flash flood warning that's in effect. And some of the rainfall totals east of here, where you see the purples and the reds, that is rain rates at the rate of maybe two and a half to three, half, three and a half inches per hour. So if it rain one hour, you can have as much as three and a half inches. That's why we had so much flooding with the amount of uh, rain that we've had in these individual spots. Uh, some of the Doppler estimates uh, and just, just today, uh, between Morgan and Hickory, about three inches, almost four inches around Little River. You can see uh, just around areas to the west of Eagle Mills there or southeast of Wilkesboro, almost four and a half inches of rainfall. And if we take a look a little bit closer in, places like China Grove or nor up towards uh, Concord, two and a half inches. Near Huntersville, about the same. Uh, downtown, uptown Charlotte, almost three inches of rainfall in that area alone. Now, I mentioned this a minute ago, but didn't want to show this once again. Uh, more rain on the way east of here. So uh, places like Wadesboro, Rockingham, Shira, South Carolina, they could get well over an inch and a half more on top of what they've already had. And they've already had as much as three and a half to four and a half inches in those areas today alone. Hour by hour we go. We got more rain between about noon and say two o'clock. Then that weather system is working this way out here. The, the afternoon should be OK. It'll be mild to be cloudy with temperatures in the 60s out there this afternoon. So check it out. Take a look at the weather picture for tomorrow. Much improved. A nice day. 71 degrees. Weekend looking OK, a bit cooler. We'll be in the mid to upper 60s over the weekend. And then next week, the bottom drops out. It's going to be dry, but it's going to be colder only in the upper 50s for high temperatures on Tuesday and Wednesday. And that is your first one forecast.